Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be changing this garage door opener switch into one of these push button switches. I got this guy from eBay. It was like $5, super cheap. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is one, this can easily be confused with a light switch. And two, it doesn't work well with my remote. So when I open it, I need to constantly flick it back because if I flick it downwards, check this out. If I try using my remote, nothing, nothing is happening. And it's just clicking away, nothing's happening. The only way for me to use my remote is if I put it on the off state. And then I click it and it works. It closes it up, all works there. Now the good thing about this stuff is that it's low voltage. I've measured it, it's five volts. I'll show you how I measured it just there. And we're just gonna be changing the switch over. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just pull this plate off. In case you don't know, these plates do come off just with a little bit of force. Sometimes they're hard because you get remnants of paint. Someone does a paint job and leaves it on there. Next up, I'm just gonna be unscrewing the screws on the top and the bottom. Now be careful because of course, I know what this switch does, but you might not know what the switch does. So it could be full on higher voltage. As you can see here, this doesn't look like a high voltage cable straight away, no. But to be safe, here's a multimeter. And on a multimeter, you get DC and AC. I'm gonna test for DC. And I'm just gonna put the plugs in together. And I can see it goes to around five volts. There you go. I've just got the wrong polarity, but that's five volts there. So that is safe for me to work on over here in Australia. So easy as this job, just unscrew the poles. And the way the garage door opener works is when these two make the connection, it starts up like the garage. So this switch over here, you have a couple of screws. You pretty much put one on the left or one on the right. And then now, when this button goes down, it actually makes the connection between those two wires. And the gate goes up it again, turns it off. And the good thing about it, at any time, you can always use my garage door remote. And it is all connected. A couple of things, you might be wondering where does this wire come from? It actually just goes to the attic up there over through there onto my garage door opener. I'll show you what that looks like. I actually went up here about a minute ago and you can see it's the brown wire just there. Just that brown little cable running from the garage door opener through there, all the way there and it goes down that hole over there. So I was just like giving it a bit more slack and feeding it over to that drop hole to give myself more space. So now the last thing left to do is to decide where I want to put this new button. Just put the wire through the wall. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just make a new cut out here and put it right here because this seems a bit too high. Or maybe I'll put it to the left or maybe, I'll, no, definitely I'll go to the left or maybe up here. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it, but the idea is that's pretty much how to rewire it just to tidy it up. Just to leave it in a tidy state. I'm just gonna screw it into the plaster wall temporarily for now. All right guys, that was just a quick update video on how to change your switch for your garage door opener. I'm just gonna leave this here for now because I need a second opinion from the big boss. As soon as I get the okay, I will decide where exactly to put it. But for now, as you can see, it totally works and it doesn't conflict anymore with my remote. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Yeah, so much fun. Oh, by the way, actually.
By the way, let me just show you this. You actually get a full on size kit in this. So you can mount it outside if you want. This is external backing. You get lots of rubber so you can protect the button here. Give it a little CD, you know, for protection. And you get lots of little holes so you can extend the wiring to go elsewhere. So it's a nifty little kit that you get for just $5.